Fox Weather is your Hurricane HQ, and we are monitoring Invest 92L, a newly designated disturbance in the Atlantic that could become Tropical Storm Gabrielle later this week. We're in the peak of the hurricane season, but there is nothing else in the Atlantic that is of immediate concern. This is a great thing. It's a little odd with sea surface temperatures as warm as they are. So to talk more about the Atlantic as it stands and how things could play out moving forward, we're joined now by John Ewing. He's a research scientist at the North Carolina Institute for Climate Studies. John, uh, thanks for being here with us. What do you make of this Atlantic season so far? Anything uh, jump out at you so far? Well, thanks for having me. And yeah, it's been sort of a very quiet peak of the Atlantic hurricane season. Normally, we'd be seeing a lot of activity this time of year, especially with all the warm waters. But really, we've had a lot of dry air and wind shear that's basically dominated large parts of the Atlantic. That's really suppressed tropical cyclone and hurricane formation over the last couple of weeks. And this is largely due to the MJO or Madden-Julian oscillation. And this is sort of a global weather pattern in the tropics that sort of moves around the globe and has regions of enhanced thunderstorm activity and suppressed thunderstorm activity in dry air. And over the last couple of weeks, we've seen that MJO position so that we've had a lot of this dry, stable air over the Atlantic, yeah. which is really a clamp on the uh, activity. Yeah, for, for lack of a more uh, scientific word, these disturbances, the, the waves, they've been there, but they've gotten squished or squashed by some of that dry air and dust and overall subsidence, like you were talking about, sinking air. Uh, what do you make of Invest 92L? It does appear as though, as we move into the middle part of this week, it finds a, a relatively favorable pocket of atmosphere. Yeah, so Invest 92L was designated this morning. That's looking a lot better today. It's looking a lot more organized than it was yesterday. Uh, and so the National Hurricane Center has upped its odds of development to 90% over the next couple of days. Uh, and right now, it consists of sort of a broad region of thunderstorms associated with a tropical wave. And really, the main limiting factor over the next couple of days is going to be that dry air. It's still surrounded by quite a bit of dry air. But if it can really isolate itself and silo itself from that dry air, we could really see it start to intensify over the next couple of days. Yeah, and you mentioned the low. Different points in the season. We're looking at different spots in the basin, right? This is MDR time, tropical Atlantic, and with conditions as they are, it is quiet there. But as we get toward the end of the month and then to the early part of October, we could see more homegrown entities, talking about the Western Caribbean and the Gulf, very much like we saw last year. What are your thoughts over the next several weeks? Yeah, so typically as we move into the back half of the season, we tend to look a little bit closer to home for those tropical threats. The Western Caribbean becomes a hotbed. Uh, some of those what we call Central American gyre systems, which is basically low at pressure areas around Central America, oftentimes spawn tropical cyclones in, in October and sort of the later months of the hurricane season. And large scale indicators are indicating that we are expecting to see a bit of an uptick in activity in the second half of the season. And you're right there in, in the Tar Heel State. So before we let you go, I've got to ask you about what's going on in coastal spots right now. The Outer Banks are getting smacked. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we had a low pressure system sort of develop off the coast, and it's really uh, bringing a lot of uh, rainy conditions, very gusty winds, really feels like a tropical system despite not being one. Uh, so, you know, it's definitely something that those co uh, folks along the coast are going to have to keep an eye on over the next couple of days just because of uh, all those gusty winds and that rain. Uh, but, yeah, it really feels like a tropical storm despite not being one. Yeah, John, our, our correspondent was there for Aaron, which was that massive hurricane grant that was just a glancing blow, but conditions there this afternoon are actually worse from this tropical nothing, just an area of low pressure. So uh, just one of those yeah, things, yeah. right? But yeah, hey, uh, we hope to check back in with you moving forward through the next several weeks. Hopefully we don't see anything like we saw last year with the backloaded season. That's John Ewing, yeah, a research you. scientist at the North Carolina Institute for Climate Studies. Uh, great to chat with you this afternoon. Thanks for having me. You bet.